Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 4 here, bringing you guys more benefits in Ultimate Team. Today, we're going to be playing a very special game. Uh, and by the way, well, this is game number seven. Today's gameplay, guys, we're going to be playing against a guy who bought an ebook. And the way I knew he was he bought an ebook is because I showed this gameplay to one of my brothers and he confirmed it that he was using the New Orleans Offensive Playbook. And the place that he was calling in was a counter and some kind of a passing play that pretty much led towards the under the free safety, the little route, the little post route that goes inside. And um, I admit it, it was a good passing play. But the thing is, in the whole gameplay, guys, this guy only called in two plays. Two. And when you call in the same fucking play, I will adjust. And you'll see that on my fucking third drive. You know, or second drive on defense or something. I forgot when it was, but that happens, you know. It's gonna fucking adjust. My defense will adjust to it. And I got lucky. I was like, yeah, that's what you fucking get, bitch, for calling the same fucking play. And then his defense, god damn it, it was horrendous. All I had to do was counter all day, have that counter, because he only had three yellow zones in the middle, and he had the blue zones going back, right? The three blue zones. It's almost like a cover three, but except this time, you don't have flats going on the outside. So it left me open for curl routes, for counters, and whatever that's going outside, even screens. Even the screens got easier. So I was like, yeah, that's what you get for calling the same play. And there's, this is one of them right here. Uh, this play action right here pretty much leads to that receiver under the free safety with all the goddamn time. Or maybe my free safety sucks because I know my previous free safety is like make a hide and my other one, uh, Mike Adams, they usually drop inside and pick the ball. But this guy never does that shit. I don't know why. He fucking sucks. So and here's another example, guys, on defense. On my offense, you know, Demaris Thomas calling in a comeback. Nice catch by him, 7-7. Seven 7 50 seconds to go in the first quarter. Nice counter run by Doug Martin. Tell you guys, this guy is just leaving the guy open right on the outside. Another counter calling in. Doug Martin taking it for more than 10 plus yards. 18 yards, 20 yards. Nice game by Doug Martin. I'm telling you, don't call in plays that don't even fucking work. That's what I did with my defense. I called in that 3-3. It wasn't working. Okay, I'm just going to stick with my 4-6 and the 4-3 wide and the 4-3 over. I have four different defensive plays, but the fourth one fucking sucks. The 3-3, it fucking sucks. I ended up switching from that place. So back on defense, as you can see, he called in the, that passing play. He's going to call it in yet again for the third time in a row, third and 10. Third and 11, I mean. Yeah, he caught it this time. So I was like, all right, let me adjust to that real quick. See if he got something out of that. So I adjusted. Nobody was open. He got sacked. I ended up continuing that D-line. I have the other guy in purple zone so he will get the outside guy. And then I ended up using Luke Keekley. Interception. Nice pass bro next time calling a different play for god's sakes why did you call that shit like for five times in a row people just don't understand yes some fucking manning youtubers out there have a huge ass ego but they gotta understand you gotta add more plays to that bro you really gotta add more plays screens add the screens whatever we have on your playbook add him don't get stuck in one fucking play. Look at him. He's still calling in the same offensive play. 7 to 14. Third and 7. He calls in, in, in a, again. Like, he calls it in again. He got me on down pretty good. You know, Luke Kiki got a little bit burned. And then, again, he calls it in. Intercepted by Antonio Cromartie. He should have loved that shit. He would have burned Antonio Cromartie, but good thing he didn't, though. So, I always took it all the way, though. Look at this one. Antonio Cromartie taking it, like, for 20 yards for an interception. Nice catch by him. And nice throw by the other guy. That's what you get for buying a goddamn ebook like this. Why are you calling the same defensive play? Brandon Marshall yet open towards the outside. I told you guys, if I do a comeback, these guys are always going to be catching the ball. And by the way, that's the name of the route. Now, I'm not telling you guys that I will be doing a comeback from, uh, I don't know, like 0 to 14 or something. Like, no, that's the name of the route. So I ended up scoring the ball. I ended up scoring the touchdown, I mean. And uh, we ended up leading 21-7. to Yet again, he calls in the same offensive play. I'm telling you guys, it's just an embarrassment to this like. What ebook did you buy and from who? Whoever is your YouTuber that you fucking watch this from, fucking sue their asses or just claim your money back because it should have beaten me. You should have beat my ass. If those ebooks are worth your $10 or $20, then they should give you fucking W's every single day. Look at me. I don't even use a fucking ebook and I'm winning fucking games. So people gotta learn, man. Y'all gotta learn. My subscribers, my, my freaking followers. Please. Learn the fucking plays in the playbook before buying the ebook. If you know what playbook it's coming from, make sure you learn the ebook, the, the playbook first, and then buy the ebook if they're pointing out some certain plays that you guys don't know yet. 
then you fucking buy it. But watch out, guys. You're gonna end up like this guy if you buy an ebook, only stuck with two goddamn plays. Two. Do you guys want to use two goddamn plays the whole game? No. Shit, I would be bored and shit. <laughs> so that's it, guys. I ended up winning the game 21 to 7. We ended up going eight wins in a row. Pretty much of a success here because from the previous season, we only won like four and three. We got even eliminated. We, 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 we did avoid demotion though, but we didn't get it to the playoffs. So it's amazing. It's an amazing turnaround, guys. So make sure you subscribe for more, guys. Leave a like on the video. You guys support the series. And if you guys want to see more Manifesting Ultimate Team, make sure you subscribe for more. So I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more.